Okay, we're going to change gears right now. We're going to go over to sports, more specifically the Washington Redskins. Kirk Cousins, QB, on radio today, talking about his future with the Burgundy and Gold. We're going to get to that in a minute. But first, a big question. Why can his boss, Bruce Allen, seem to pronounce his name? Maybe it's intentional. The hashtag Kirk, not Kurt, is trending on Twitter. Um, Kirk. Yes. Kirk. Kurt. Kirk. Cousins. Kirk. K-I-R-K. Yes. Right. And we know you and I have talked about this. You know it's Kirk. <laughs> Earlier today, Kirk, not Kurt Cousins, on 106.7 The Fan, discussing his future in D.C. I think the biggest uh, reason would just be we felt like I need a little more time. Um, you know, I, I felt like uh, I want to allow the next six months to give me more information about our organization so that I can make a more informed decision. Uh, there have been a lot of changes in our organization since the end of last season. Um, and so I want to allow time to, uh, to help make this decision. And I believe wisdom is never impatient. And so I think it's, it's smart to slow the process down. This is constantly a changing league. And so while I've been here for many years, it hasn't been the same dynamic for all those years. Okay, one of the best in sports, our own WUSA 9, mm -hmm. Diane Roberts. Before I even hit you with a question, i got to ask, what do you make of all this? You and I have talked many times before. So I've been here for 17 years. I've covered this team. Mm -hmm. Every year, it's something. So many people might be surprised. I'm not really surprised because it's always something. Um, I, I see Kirk Cousins' point of view. When he got here and the team it is now, they're two different teams. Offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach, all these people are gone. Uh, there's a, a new GM. There's, there's so much change. His two biggest targets, receivers, they're both gone. So, of course, he wants to wait. He talks about wanting a little bit more time. At first, I didn't understand that. But when you start looking at all the change that has surrounded this team just in the last year, of course he wants to wait. He wants to figure out, are they going to get it right? Are they going to, he used the word stabilize. Are they going to be stabilized? And when you hear that from the quarterback, the most important person in your organization, the face of your franchise, what does that say about this organization? Well, I think it what it says is what people have known for quite some time. I don't want to call it a dysfunctional organization, but there are many people who will. What I will say is that in the 17 years that I've covered them, I couldn't even name the number of quarterbacks. I know we're beyond 15. We're probably up to 18-ish quarterbacks in, in that amount of time. Mm -hmm. We've been through at least three, four, and, and five And not to coaches. mention all the money we spend on over Big the hill, name, beyond, yes. you know. Uh, yeah. Big so, names. So how does the team look? Winning somehow seems to cure everything. Is this going to be a good team this year? You know, it's interesting you asked that question. Yesterday I talked with Lake Lewis, who uh, covers the team for USA Today, and we talked about that. He actually thinks the team looks better in many respects this year than last year. That while we talk about Pierre Garçon and Deshaun Jackson being gone and those being the targets that Kirk like, there's still uh, Jordan Reed, if he stays healthy, and Jamison Crowder, who Kirk likes those guys even better. And we added some incredible pieces from Alabama in yeah, the draft. Yeah, defensive-wise. The defense is Jonathan be better. Allen, local guy, absolutely. Yeah. So your team looks good, but your team has looked good on paper many times before. <laughs> I want to see them in action. Don't remind me. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. All right. It's